With April 1st, aka April Fool's Day fast approaching, I wanted to share with you guys some of my old school pranks. These are 50 simple and easy pranks and booby traps that you guys can set up on friends and family using household items. Best part is that they never fail. Before we get started though, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. One last thing guys, I would really appreciate a like. Let's try to get a thousand likes on this video so I can bring you another compilation video full of pranks that you guys can do on April Fool's Day. Again, a like is all I'm asking for guys. Let's get pranking. For this prank, you'll need a bottle of gel, ketchup and plastic wrap. The cap on the gel bottle should look like this because it will be easier to hide the ketchup. Take a piece of plastic wrap and push it inside the gel bottle. Fill it with ketchup then twist the cap back on. Cut off the excess plastic and you have yourself a nice April Fool's Day prank. It will look like a normal bottle of gel to your victim until this happens. For this next prank you're gonna need a container that is not see through like this milk bottle and yeah a condom. Begin by cutting off the bottom of the milk bottle. Open the condom and unroll it. Put it inside the bottle. Use the faucet sprayer to fill it up to capacity then twist the cap on while the condom sticks out. This should keep it in place. Just cut off the remainder. This is what will happen when your victim wants some milk. Here's a demo with the carton of orange juice. If you want to test your friend's intelligence or get them upset, do the following. Take your victim's favorite canned snack. It must have a tab on top for faster access. Here's what you do. Simply peel off the label and put it back upside down with the tab no longer on top. Use tape if needed and lastly just hide the can opener. If your victim's smart enough, he or she will figure out that this is a prank. This may or may not make them look dumb. For this prank, you're gonna need an egg. There's not much to this. Simply tape the egg on the bottom of a box, right on the center edge. In this example, I'm using a lunchbox. Just leave it on the counter with the egg hanging. The egg won't be easily spotted, but when your victim sees the box on the edge, their first instinct will be to push it forward to keep it from falling, and then this will happen. You can also do this with any other box. When they pick it up, they won't notice anything, that is, until they put the box down, but by then it'll be too late. Here's a little Easter prank you guys can play on your loved ones. Booby trap a stuffed bunny with a mini air horn can. Let me show you how. Start by cutting open the bunny from the bottom using a blade. Careful though, take out all of the cotton. You'll also need to detach one of its ears. Make a hole on the side of its head, that's where the ear used to be. Push the air horn inside the bunny's body all the way to the very top. Just make sure the nozzle sticks out through the bunny's head. If the bunny's face looks too flat, just stuff it with some of the cotton you removed. Sew the ear back on using needle and thread. This will hide the air horn. Also, don't forget to sew up the bottom as well. Place a label on the bunny that says push down on the bunny's head so it can talk. Just give it to someone and when they try it out, they'll be in for a loud surprise. <coughs> this prank is harmless but gets them every time. <coughs> up next, you're gonna need an empty container, preferably black, a smoke bomb, and a lighter. So careful with these guys. I gotta say though, this prank is not for everybody, so prank at your own risk. Let me show you how it's done. First, apply some hot glue on the bottom of the smoke bomb, then stick it inside the container. This will keep the smoke bomb in place so it won't melt the container. Once dry, carefully ignite the fuse, but don't put the cap on right away because it might put out the fuse, so time it correctly and then twist the cap on. When your victim opens it, all the smoke will come out. Though it's not a lot, it will definitely stink up the house. And that's when this next prank comes into play. If your victims can't take the smell from the first prank, they'll want to open up an air freshener like this one. So here's how you booby trap it. Once it's half empty, flip it upside down and begin to fill it with some fake blood, but just enough so it does not overflow when you twist it shut. Wipe it down and put it back where it goes. Your victims will be in for a bloody surprise when the air freshener is opened. Here's a way you guys can embarrass your friends at school or maybe one of your coworkers at the office. These are the supplies you'll need. Begin by cutting open a fart bag. Dump some of that stinky powder onto a Ziploc bag. Mix some water into it and then extract it with a plastic syringe. 
but be quick about this because this stuff really stinks. Have your victim's pen handy and add a few drops of that stinky liquid inside the cap. Put the pen back inside and if necessary, clean it off. Leave the pen in your victim's possession and when he or she uses it, all that smelly odor will be released into the air. Everybody around the class or the office will notice where the stink is coming from. Some drops might actually fall onto your victim's clothes so they'll be stuck with that smell all day. This is really fun for April Fool's Day. Here's another way you guys can use a fart bag to prepare a prank. We're gonna make some fake poop that will really stink. You'll need some peanut butter, chocolate fudge, wax paper and as I mentioned a fart bag. Lay out a sheet of wax paper. On top, put a spoonful of peanut butter and some chocolate fudge. Take that sheet of wax paper and put it inside the microwave for about 10 seconds. While it's hot, mix it together until you have the desired color for your fake poop. Spread it around and put it inside the freezer. After about 5 to 10 minutes, take it out. Open up the fart bag and sprinkle some of that stinky powder on top. Roll up that fake poop and mold it into any shape you want. If you do a good job, it will look very realistic. Since the stinky powder is covered by peanut butter and fudge, it won't stink up until somebody rubs on it or it's smeared. Find a good spot to put it. The best place is the doorknob behind the bathroom door. This prank works every time. Believe me, it won't let you down. Your victims will actually think this is poop. Since you're already in the bathroom, why not set up another prank? This time, all you guys gotta do is lift up the toilet lid and dump a whole bag of ice inside. Fill it all the way to the very top. You might think that this is pointless, but think about it some more. If your victim is gonna go in for his morning poop, he will have to take out all the ice to be able to flush. This prank is enough to frustrate just about anybody. And don't worry about damaging the toilet because the ice will eventually melt. You might want to stay in the bathroom for the following prank. All you guys gotta do is remove the cover from the tank behind the toilet because we are gonna tamper with it. Simply unhook the chain from the flusher, drop it inside the water, and next time someone uses the bathroom, basically if they take a poop and want to flush it, they'll have to stick their whole hand inside to be able to get to the chain. This is very inconvenient. Next up, frustrate someone by doing this to their soda can. Carefully turn the tab about 180 degrees and fold it in half till it breaks off. Just be careful not to cut yourselves. Your victims will definitely have a hard time opening it. Take someone's pen and pop out the tip. Remove the ink tube and put it back. When someone tries to use it, it will eventually run out of ink. If you want to make somebody mad at the office, take their scissors and wrap as much tape around them as you can. Put them back in the pencil cup or wherever you got them and when it's time to use them, this will not make work any easier, especially if they're already having a bad day. Grab the toilet paper and place it on a surface and unroll it. Apply some glue on a few squares, roll it up and put it back. When someone wants to wipe, the toilet paper will fall apart. It will definitely not be a fun experience, that's for sure. While you're in the restroom, open up a condom and squirt some lotion inside. Put it over the shower head and this will happen when someone wants to take a shower. They'll be in for a surprise. It looks so disgusting that no one will want to touch it. Make your roommate's morning a bit more difficult by applying some hot glue over the opening of their gel bottle. They'll have to pop it open in order to have access to it. Another way to get a similar result and also looks like a previous prank we just did is to put a piece of plastic wrap over the top of the bottle and close it back up. Hopefully the person trying to get ketchup is smart enough to figure this out. This one you guys can do on a flour or sugar container. Open it up and pretty much bury the measuring cup. This is like the most frustrating thing because I'll have to dig deep in order to find it. Here's an easy way that will get just about anybody upset. Take the TV remote and open it. No, you don't have to take out the batteries, just turn them around. This is really annoying guys, I've fallen for this prank myself. Now grab your roommate's shoe and tamper with it by loosening up the shoelaces. Wrap a zip tie on the end like you see here and cut off the remainder. This will definitely make them upset. Sneak into your victim's room and get one of their socks. If they look like this, even better. All you pretty much gotta do is stitch up a small portion on the sock. Like here, I'm doing just the heel area. When they try to put it on, it will almost be impossible. It works great with long sleeves as well. Next, take your roommate's body spray and booby trap it in two ways. 
First, pop open the cap and remove the nozzle. Get some Kool-Aid and add some inside the nozzle. Put it back and this is what will happen when your victims try to spray themselves. No fun, they'll also end up smelling like Kool-Aid so that's also funny too. Another way you can booby trap the same can is to put some Kool-Aid inside the cap followed by some water about two thirds of the cap. Lock the cap inside the can and that's it. Just put it back where it goes and this is what will happen when somebody opens it. They will have to change for sure. Set up this next prank in the kitchen using a can of oats. Begin to empty out the can but save the oats because you will be putting them back in. Below you can make a cutout about the same size you see here. Using tape attach the can to the inside of the cabinet door. The trick here is that the bottom of the can is leveled with the shelf inside the cabinet. This is how it should look like. Shut the door and add the oats back inside the can. It's just as simple as that. Here's what will happen next time someone opens the cabinet door. It's even funnier if they have a bowl of food or drink on the counter when they open up the cabinet door. It will totally ruin it and they will still have to clean up this mess. This one you can set up at school when nobody's looking. Start by getting a hold of your victim's binder. Fill up a styrofoam plate with water and here I'm using Kool-Aid of course. Open the binder and fold it all the way back. While in the air, tuck the plate inside one of the pockets. Should look something like this. Now gently close it and place it back on the desk. This is what will happen next time it's opened. This is pure evil so prank with caution guys. Next up, mess with your victim's hat by tucking a piece of rubber band or elastic inside. They'll be wondering if their hat shrunk because it will be too tight when they put it on. This next prank you guys can play on your roommate using his deodorant. It's gotta be empty like this one so get rid of the plastic casing. Luckily your roommate bought the twin pack so he knows he has another stick of deodorant available. So here's what you do. Open the new deodorant and push out the bar with the plastic shell still on top. Trim off a piece with a blade like so. You can fill the inside of the old container with water to make it heavier and place the plastic shell on top. Put the cap on and wipe it down to make it seem new. Let's say your roommate is ready to leave and wants to put some deodorant only to find out that it's empty. It is sure to make him mad. For the following prank you'll need a plunger and a fake spider like this one. This is what you need to do. Attach one of the spider's legs underneath the plunger using super glue. Once dry, tuck the spider inside and place tape across the body to keep it in place. Next time the sink is clogged and the plunger is needed, it will give your victims a big scare, especially if they're afraid of spiders. This one you can prepare at a birthday party. So if there's party hats there, then this is what you'll need to do. Get two of those hats. Remove the elastic string from one of them. Put some clear tape on the crease of the hat just to make sure there's no openings. Undo the other hat and trace a small circle on it, about the size you see here. Cut it out with some scissors. Also poke a couple of holes on it like so. Tie one side of the elastic string to the hole you made. Get some baby powder or flour and pour some inside the party hat. About an inch of it should be enough. Take the cardboard circle and place it inside the hat. This will help conceal the powder and since it's the same color, no one will suspect a thing. Lastly, leave the hat on the table and place more hats on top of it to make it seem like a normal stack of party hats. As guests start putting on their hats, the last person who puts on the hat will be in for a surprise. Just watch. Once the elastic is pulled, the powder will be released all over their head and clothes. And that's how easily you guys can booby trap a party hat. This mean prank you guys can do on teachers at school. Just get to class before your teacher and mess with their dry board eraser. Here's how. Grab the eraser and open it. Pour some black shoe polish inside and restore it back to normal. The material inside will absorb it and here's what will happen when your teacher puts it to use. It's so much fun messing with teachers on April Fool's Day. They're always my favorite victims. 
Now for this next prank you'll need a piece of gum. Simply stick it behind a ruler and put it back in the pencil cup. Next time your victim uses it, it will ruin their paperwork. It's pretty messed up actually. Now let's use a tampon to creep somebody out. Open it and stick the string onto the cap of an empty juice carton. I would use glue or tape for that. While that dries, fill up the empty carton of orange juice with water and red Kool-Aid, but if you have fake blood, even better. Once filled, put the tampon inside and twist the cap on. Next time someone gets thirsty and wants some juice, they'll be in for a nasty, nasty, nasty surprise. For this next prank, again, you're gonna need the cap of a juice carton. Basically, what you're gonna do is jam it inside your friend's Powerade bottle. You guys can either leave it as is because it is hard to pop out or mess with your friends even further by adding chili powder and water inside. Put the cap on and you might actually get your friend to sip on it, especially if it's in a dark room. They won't suspect anything until it's too late. Let's mess with our roommate's shoe once more. Simply get a hold of the shoe that they'll be wearing the next morning and cover it with a bunch of thumbtacks on both the bottom and the sides just like you see in my example. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, it actually looks pretty good with the thumbtacks on it but your roommate might disagree. It's gonna be a pain to take them off, might cause them to be late for work or school you know. So pranking roommates never gets old guys, so for this next prank you're gonna get them really worked up in the morning. Take their styling gel and freeze it overnight. Wake up early in the morning and put it back where it goes before they get ready for school or work. It will be frozen cold guys, this works every time. Next, take a packet of hot sauce and cut off the top. I had to replace the sauce with some Kool-Aid because it was too thick. Tape it behind a roll of toilet paper, make sure it's not visible and next time someone uses it while in the toilet, this will happen. Hot sauce works best because they'll have to wash their hands before they proceed. This next prank is a classic because it never fails but you'll have more success pulling it off at the movie theater. As you guys can see, I'm coloring in the frames of these 3D glasses. Your friend won't notice a thing until you get out of the movie theater and their face will be covered in black marker. So make sure you have a marker handy next time you go to the movies. I learned about the following prank because I actually fell for it. You'll need a plastic spoon that's inside a wrapper to avoid any suspicion from your victims. What you're gonna do is take out the spoon carefully. Here I have some really strong spices that have an unpleasant flavor. I dipped the spoon in and pretty much left it to marinate. Dusted it off and put it back inside the wrapper. This prank is meaner if you use a wet straw. Let the spices stick to the inside of the straw while you wipe off the outside and put it back inside the wrapper. It tastes horrible guys. This prank will require a bit of prep work. Remove the screws on any door that opens outward and take out one of the doorknobs until the door looks like this. I filled a balloon with water and yes of course I used Kool-Aid again. Tie the balloon to the rod that was attached to the doorknob and that's it. When someone opens a door they'll have a mess to clean up, just watch. As the knob is pulled, so is the balloon, so it will cause it to pop, therefore they'll have a mess on the other side of the door. It's so evil, but it always works. Alright pranksters, if you're in the mood to hide eggs for this upcoming Easter, here are 10 places inside your house where you guys can hide them. I gotta warn you though, it will get very very messy, for example, you guys can hide one behind a door, between the wall and the doorknob. Just use tape to hold the egg in place. You can also hide it inside the bathroom cabinet. On top of a door, this might actually fall on someone so make sure they can take a joke. Use tape to place an egg on the door hinges. If the roll of paper towels is on a wall, just put it underneath and when it gets rolled, it'll fall off. Tape a bottle cap on top of a ceiling fan blade, this will hold the egg on top and when someone turns it on, it'll fall down and actually it might fall on somebody. Hide an egg underneath an upside down can of potato chips inside a cabinet. When someone gets hungry and goes for the chips, they'll be in for this messy surprise. Tape an egg underneath a drawer, it won't easily be spotted, just leave it open. Of course, you can always put an egg inside the fridge door. Just modify it so the egg can fall down. Lastly, nest it on top of a shower curtain. You can use as many eggs as you want. When someone goes in for a shower and pulls on the curtain, the eggs will fall down on either direction, just like you see here. 
There you guys have it, 50 simple pranks and booby traps you can easily get your friends and family with this upcoming April Fool's Day or any other day for that matter. I hope you enjoyed watching this compilation of practical jokes. If you did, please support this video by giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. For you new pranksters out there, remember I have lots more prank videos at my channel youtube.com slash nextraker. Why not stop by and subscribe? It's always free. Have an awesome prank filled April Fool's Day guys. I will see you in my next video.